Hey, welcome back to Terra Craft, where things are going to be a little different. You might be able to hear in my voice that I've been sick for a while, and this is literally the best my voice has been in a week. So, I'm taking this opportunity to record. I've still been doing a little bit between videos. Most notably, I got redstone so I could make a, a clutch and disable some of these machines. I got some readings to tell my speed and how much stress I've got, and I actually hooked up the pump to all of this stuff, so I should be able to use the spout now. Also just as a little bit of cleanup, I melted down the other two anvils, so now I've only got the iron one, and just turned them into ingots, so I've got that now, and I also started preparing for what I plan on doing in this video, which is getting some kind of sustainable food source, because I might have a lot at the moment, but that's all from foraging, and I don't want to have to keep doing that. I should get some kind of a farm going, and we're in early spring, which is the best time to be doing this. So, how many seeds have I got? I definitely need to plant the jute. Carrot's always good. Soybean, very good. Potato's pretty good. Rye, I need that. I'm gonna get all of my jute seeds. And given that I don't have too much space, I think this is the best that I can do. So rye for the grain, potato for slightly more grain, vegetables just like the carrot, and they're just really good, really solid food to have around, and soybean for protein. Although I'd probably get some meat as well. And I think that's all I put in the sandwiches. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that. I can finally put this hoe to use now, I've had it for ages. So how big do I want this to be? I've got a lot of seeds, I'm not bothered to do the maths on that. How big can I make this? I can reasonably go eight wide. I might take another layer off of there or something, I don't know. I think I'll do it eight by 16. So that means I can put down two stacks of seeds? Right. Oh, all of this is actually at 38% hydration? Where's the hydration coming from? I should probably get some better hydration anyway, so I'll need to pipe the aqueduct over. I'll put some water sources there. Although, in theory, I only need one water source to get this whole area, because Terraforma Craft is like that. But, I'm gonna do two, just in case. I don't know where my spare mortar has gone. Oh no, there it is. I think I'll make a bit more aqueduct. A few more of them. Yes, I can speak. Maybe a bit much, but yeah, we're fine. I'm going to be needing a lot of aqueducts in future anyway, so I don't want to get the water going just yet, just so I don't make a mess. I'm going to pipe this around the side. And that should too. I was actually right in making a bunch more of these aqueducts. And then connect it. And there's the water. Straight into the hole. Ooh, big hydration. Actually, that might not be the best idea. Because some things... If there's too much hydration, jute seems fine. I mean, I need a, a big area of jute anyway, because this is like the most important plant at the moment, until I can get reliable wool. Yeah, lots of jute. Ooh, temperature's still too low for soybean. Seems good for potatoes. Seems carrots doing good as well. And I don't have as much space left for the rye seeds. How much room do I have to keep going? I don't want really to get too close to the sapling. I think I can do one more row. And that's all of my seeds perfectly placed down. I don't know how long it'll take for them to grow. But they should be fine. And the only one with any problems so far is the soybean. Because the temperature's too low because it's only March. I might have a bit of a, a crazy solution to fix this later down the line. But I don't have the, the resources necessary to do that yet. So I'll tell you what it is when I feel like I can make it. This just looks weird now with the really high aqueducts. I'd imagine when I get the walls in, it'll kind of hide it a bit, but 
still just having massive waterfalls like this. Ugh, it's weird. Another thing that I did between the videos is I finally went out and kept exploring until I found the ocean. It was just further down the way, and what I thought was the river stopping, it actually just kept going underground all the way under this whole mountain range until I got to the beach. And there's a few things of note t here. Um, there's green sand and there's black sand. And every different color of sand can be ground down into something. So I have a bunch of the green sand now. Where is it? And I can use this to make guano, which is a pretty good fertilizer. So I'm just going to run all of this through the system. I'll turn this on. Yep, I do have enough for it. Just let that run for a while. And also, I looked into create a little bit more, and I need one of these funnels. Oh, I can actually do it now, because I've got kelp. I need one of the funnels instead of the chute to put it into a chest at the bottom. I have one igneous alloy. I got a bunch of kelp, and I've got some belts now. So I think I just do... Yep. That's all I need. I could make a brass one, but the only change is that I can put a, a filter on it. I did not get as much guano as I thought I would. Let's see, how does the funnel work? Oh, yep. I think that's all I needed to do, and now it's going in. Yeah. Ah, I got 17 guano. I think I'll put all of this on the soybean for now. This is putting a lot more nitrogen in than anything else. Oh, yeah, because it has a lot of nitrogen. And I'll do a few of the jutes. So that's a bit of housekeeping underway. Let's see, what's something to work towards now? I still want to get this windmill. I guess I can get a bit of a shit one going first. I need to get a lot of these sails. And since I don't have any way to get cloth, I need burlap cloth. So I need a, a loom. I'll also get all of my jute fiber. I'm not sure where to put it. I'll just put it down here for now. So, what do I do with this? Oh. Okay. Is that... I just right click it with an empty hand? I can see it's kind of like printing it out. That's cool. I wonder if I could automate this with the deployer. Oh, and there we go. One cloth for 12 jute? Uh, this might take a while. I want to see if I can get the deployer doing it. Now, since the deployer takes the whole stack at once, I'll just give it 12. Yeah, it can put it on. But does it weave it? Yeah. And now it's picked it up. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what happens if I give it the whole stack. It filled it up, but it's not weaving it. I think I'll have to do that bit myself. But if it's an empty hand, it does. I mean, I could get around this by just having a second deployer. But that'd look a little weird. As it stands though, this is still quicker. So there's one more going now, so that'll leave me with seven burlap cloth. That's only 14 sails. Hmm. Now you can see why I need so much jute. I'm also gonna need to get a bunch more igneous alloy. And while this is going, I can explain something else. For a while, I've been wanting to try... Ooh. Where is it? How do I do it? This. Using a block of peat and eight charcoal in a compactor, I can make a block of coal. And that's special, because I can then just turn it into lignite. I don't need to find lignite anymore. And lignite is just better charcoal, because it... What's that? 212 as opposed to 148. Yeah, so it mostly just lasts longer. But then lignite, you can do similar. You can mix the lignite with the coke powder to make bituminous coal. 
and the tomb is cold burns a brilliant white. So I don't need the bellows anymore after that. And another important thing about the fact that I found that black sand is you can probably tell this becomes that coke powder that I needed to make the bituminous coal. So now I finally have all the ingredients I need to go all the way down the line. And until now, I couldn't really see myself getting the lignite as opposed to just mass producing charcoal when I couldn't put it into the bituminous coal. But now I think I can. Although I think before I actually do all of that stuff, I should probably get more charcoal. But I think that's something for some other time. Just good to keep it in the back of my mind. I'll also need to go all the way back to that ocean to actually get the black sand. Just need to get a bunch of my sticks back. And now... 14 sails! Yay! Now I need to make that windmill bearing. Do I have enough iron? Ooh, barely not. I'm using everything I've got left in this bloomery. I think this time around I'll try using the deploying strategy to refine it. I guess while I wait, maybe I can build more of upstairs? Honestly, it does look a lot better up here now that I've got all of these logs in place. And I kind of like that I can see through the walls this much. Maybe I want to make this bigger more open. And I do have more logs. I didn't have as many logs as I thought I did. But I think I like that. I like it being double sized. And I know I still have a lot of schist bricks. But... I think I want to put glass in. Because I really like the whole open aspect. It wouldn't have worked down here because I don't have any kind of view, but it does work here. Although where the aqueduct is, yeah, I'll put a wall there. Mm. Part of why I want to leave it open is so that I can see a lot of the terrain outside, but I'm thinking I might continue the walls along the first layer, and then the second one, that's where I do the glass. Because then it'll still feel really open, but I won't be able to see anything. I'll see the top of that mountain and the distant stuff over there. But most of it's just gonna be blank. If I don't like it, I can tear it down anyway. Yeah, I think this can work out. And I think the second layer being all glass will make up for the fact that I'm probably not gonna put any windows in because chances are you won't even see them. All right, well, Limery's done. No, I don't! That works really well! That's so much better than the blacksmithing method. Damn. And it's a lot quicker too. Right, now I can go back to the windmill. I've got the lumber. I've got the shaft. The brass mechanisms. Because I think I've got a spare rod. I'll need a press if I want to turn it into a brass sheet. Oh, I need to heat it anyway if I want to weld. Yeah, I may as well just do this in the forge. Right. I don't have charcoal. Right. And I just used all of my logs. This house is going to look so much more foreboding from a distance now. I feel like I've pretty much cut down every tree on this side of the ravine now. Okay, now my inventory is full of logs. Maybe I throw out those four chestnuts so I can try getting a little bit more, but I've got enough logs now. I'm going home. <laughs> Just set this going. And now I can clear out the rest of my inventory of stuff. I just realized I don't know how I get peat. Oh, I can use the thatch and loam mud. Oh, just get the dirt and combine it with water. Okay. This may take a while. You know, I'm not going to do all of that. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't know how much this is going to make. We'll see. Oh, that's a lot of peat. Yeah, two stacks of peat. 
that's a lot. Eight charcoal for every one peat? Okay, that's actually a lot more than I thought. That is plenty of peat. I don't know how much longer I've got on this charcoal, but I'm mostly just waiting for that before I can continue making the coal. But I've been looking through various items, mostly food, and I found this sweet roll, which has grain and dairy, so eh, it's good enough, and it never expires. How do I make it? Milk on bread. I do have a spout now, but I don't have any way of getting milk. Maybe I'd want to just stockpile a bunch of these sweet rolls, because never expiring is very, very good. But until I can get some milk, I can't really do anything with that. Oh, something's happened. I'm trying to make some more sandwiches, but the crushing wheel's broken. There's guano stuck in the machine. Nothing takes the flour out? I don't know how to get this funnel working. I'll just have to pick things up. Well, now I've got a bit more guano to put on the crops. Put all of it on jute. Oh, right, I can't make any more bread until I can heat up the f Oh, I think the charcoal pit's finished now. Good. Oh. Yep, burnt to a crisp. Is that bad? There we go, brush sheet. I hope I don't need to set up conveyor belts for all of this and I can just let it run. Yep, I can just do this. There we go. Four brass mechanisms. No! Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Okay, kind of fixed. Okay. Don't fill up the barrel from that water. Fill it up from the aqueducts like normal. I'll just make the windmill. I'm not going to try and do anything else. Okay, I got some sandwiches. I don't think... I have enough power to replace the water wheels, and I think I should connect it up to this gearbox, just so they're all connected, uh, but I'll also need to do the, the gear ratio stuff. This is going outside anyway. Do I attach it to the side of the building, or do I just have it separate building, separate structure? So it should spin clockwise and the whole thing is going clockwise I think that'll do and then I whoa okay yeah it's going <laughs> I can stand on it I didn't know that and this is going very slow like slower than what the water wheels were doing okay after setting up the entire thing to speed up this one cogwheel. I think it's now at the same speed as the water wheels. Is there any way that I can speed up the windmill? Oh, and its stress capacity is tiny. Oh, I just need to put more sails on it. Well, I need to get a lot of sails. Well, back to the water wheels for now. I'll leave the windmill going out there. Ah, oh, I picked up the javelin. I'll leave the windmill going out there until I can get more sails. It's just gonna sit there, not doing anything for a while. Well, I guess with the failure of the windmill, I think for the rest of the video I'll work on getting... Yeah, I think I could make it all the way up to the coal. So I need to get myself a cast iron double ingot for the mechanical press. I should have a spare basin somewhere. Right, got the double ingot, mechanical press. So now I put in eight peat and a stack of charcoal. Yeah, and it makes a block of coal. Now I'll need to keep one of them for, um, I think I need to heat the mixer. But the rest of them can just be turned straight out into lignite. So now I need to get the coke powder. <laughs> and for that, I need to go all the way over to the ocean. 
Here's the tunnel I was talking about. I don't know how well a boat will be able to fit through here with all of the stalactites and stalagmites. And also my terrible driving. And I come out through a waterfall. Here we are, back on this beach. Do we want to get any more green sand for the guano? I think I'll just stick to black sand for now. And if I really need more, then yeah, I'll come back for the green sand. Okay, 18 stacks, probably enough. I guess I'll just fill the rest of my inventory with green sand for guano. There we go. I can't carry anything more now. Guess I'll just have a boat here now. I can't put it in a chest. I don't even have enough room in this chest to put everything in. It's a little annoying that it's dropping all of the powder on the other side there. It means that I can't pick it up. i got 50 coke powder so far. I can start doing stuff with that. Oh, that's probably enough to make all of the coal. There we go. 63 bituminous coal. Superior smelting material. I can probably afford to not uh, crush the rest of this black sand. Because I should have enough spare coke powder. And I still left a bit of the charcoal behind because sometimes it's useful to not have something that smelts at brilliant white. And also, if I'm doing anything in the bloomery, I'd much rather waste charcoal than bituminous coal. I think it's finally time that I cut down these trees. They have been grown for quite a while. And finish off a bit more of the house. There we go. That's the top framework done. And I almost used all my logs. Well, I think that'll be it for this video. I feel like I've done a lot more than usual. Got the compactor, made more of the, the house, made the farm, made the windmill, even though I'm not doing anything with it, and upgraded all the way to bituminous coal. Maybe next video I can work towards a rotation speed controller or two. Because I'll probably need that. And I should probably figure out how to get the crushing wheel putting stuff into a chest. I can do quite a bit between the videos, but I think I've done enough for this video. And my voice is probably worse than it started off because I should not be using it as much as I have been. So, I'm going to end it here. Bye.